the word about greed. Distinguished professors, and dear colleagues. I am Josef Bozovic, from Montenegro, and I am really honored to speak in front of you all. Today, I want to speak about greed. Greed. Yes, in today's world it is difficult to define this term, given that human greed reaches unpredictable and unbelievable limits. But who is actually greedy, can you tell me? Is the one that wants more money, the one that wants more happiness, more luxury cars, or house with a pool on the sea coast? Modern lifestyle created a mindset where everybody thinks only about how much people possess. Hence people are generally becoming greedier and our path and future progress is under huge question. I was thinking about this problem for a while and then speakers series popped up as a perfect opportunity to share my thoughts with an audience that can fully understand the depth of the problem. I see greed as a bottomless pit which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction. Actually, greed is not a problem that started recently, it has roots from the moment when mankind started existing. And greed as one of seven deadly sins is maybe even the cause of all bad situations that happen to humanity. Here is a very famous example of a greedy person from the time of ancient Greece. Once upon a time, there was King, King Midas. He lived in a big castle surrounded by servants and luxury. He was very rich, but his biggest treasure was his daughter. On one occasion he got to choose a wish, any wish, and it will be fulfilled. King Midas wished that everything he touches becomes gold. Very soon, he enjoyed the abundance of gold, but with time, as days passed by, he started understanding that he cannot longer eat, drink and enjoy the small things. When he would touch the apple it would become gold, when he would touch water he would feel the hardness. He was alone. One day, his daughter ran to hug him, and at the same moment, she became hard gold. Her smile remained unchanged forever, as well as her arms that formed the last hug. These kinds of stories want us to question ourselves. Would we like to be Midas and to lose everything we love, for what? Unfortunately, it seems that a lot of people didn't read this. Because now, castles are villas and gold is money. Stories like this are very old written with the purpose to explain to new generations how dangerous and potentially deadly greed is. Now I want to present the opposite side to you. Nikola Tesla, the man with no greed, no financial ambitions, the world's true hero, and my fellow countryman. He said, money does not represent such a value as man has placed in it. All my money I invested in inventions which enabled new discoveries enabling an easier life for humanity. And exactly this is the only right way for future progress, we must think about what we will give to the world and not what we can take from it. My opinion is that in every man there are living two wolves, one good and one evil. From the moment we are born we decide which one we want to feed. Because the one we choose to feed is going to be with us on our life path. So choose carefully. In the end, I want to mention two big problems in our society. We have 795 million hungry people, and over 100 million homeless people worldwide. However, the newest information tells us that there is both enough food and empty houses to put an end to this. Sadly, after all, we can only conclude, as Gandhi said, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Thank you.